Today, the drought in Texas was declared the worst in a century. Across nearly the whole state, the drought ranges from severe to exceptional. It's expected to last into next summer, and Anna Werner says the damage could go on for years. At the Mainstay Farm, south of Fort Worth, owner Mariana Wilson still takes school kids on hay rides. They can run a maze or cook marshmallows. What they can't do this year is watch someone cut down a fresh Christmas tree. How'd that compare to last year? Well, you're gonna lose trees from year to year, but no, it was bad. Normally, these fields would be filled with customers cutting their own Christmas trees. But this year, the farm lost a quarter of its trees. 1,500 trees like this one that died in the drought. And when you turn on an oven, you know, for how many, 80, 90 days that we had dry, it was, it's like baking anything that's outside. This is basically off the charts. Based on past history, you wouldn't expect to see happen in maybe 500 or 1,000 years. John Nielsen Gammon is a climatologist for the state of Texas. Just one more year, we're already talking about probably a drought more severe than anything we've, we've ever had. This will become for them the drought of record. The weather phenomenon known as La Nina is expected to continue to keep rain away from Texas. The impact will be felt for years to come. Already, damage to agriculture is more than $5 billion, as ranchers are forced to sell off cattle they can't feed. The state's reservoirs are 40 percent below normal, and communities like Grosbeck, Texas, may run out of water within weeks. Some trees make it and some don't. To replace the trees she lost, Farmer Wilson shipped in extra Fraser firs from North Carolina, and she's planting more of a drought-resistant strain of Christmas trees. She says they grow well in this climate. They're from Arizona. Anna Werner, CBS News, Cleburne, Texas.